Good morning, boys and girls at Tortuga Elementary. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Mrs. P and I'm from Learning for Life and I am here to do a lesson with you. So thank you for inviting me once again for this school year. I'll be coming here every other month and doing these wonderful online lessons for Learning for Life. And guess what I do with them? <gasps> we turn them into a link. Well, your school turns them into a link. And then a YouTube link. And then we blast it out to all of the elementary schools and learning five schools so they can show their students this wonderful lesson. So you're going to be on TV everywhere. You ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Here we go. We're going to talk about being responsible. Pay attention right here on the screen. Welcome to Module 2, Responsibility. There are seven lessons in this module. You are going to... Explore being responsible. Learn about making good choices. Understand how to prioritize your activities. Be sure to read every screen and finish every activity. Click the next arrow to continue. Listen to what this is going to say to you. Little module. Hello boys and girls. In today's character development module, we're going to learn about responsibility. Part of being responsible is learning how to make the right choices in the words we use, in the way we treat people, and in always doing what we say we are going to do. In all parts of the world, in homes, schools, businesses, shops, and hospitals, there is a person that is in charge. It's important for us to realize why these people are in charge so that we follow their instructions. People in charge have authority and are responsible for making decisions. Today we'll find out what authority really means and identify people we know who have authority. You are making choices all the time too. You choose what to say, who your friends are, and the way you act, don't you? As you grow up, some of the choices that you make may affect you for a long time. We will learn how making good choices helps us reach goals we have set for ourselves. We will think of goals we want to set for ourselves and think about the choices we need to make to reach those goals. Making good choices not only helps us reach our goals, it also helps us feel better about ourselves. We will look at how our choices can help us be happier and why it's so important for us to make good choices. Sometimes we make choices before we really think about them and all of their consequences. Today, we will come up with ideas to help us think through choices carefully before we make a decision. <coughs> We'll also talk about the types of games that exist and learn how to recognize bad behavior in groups and avoid being pressured into joining in the bad behavior of a group or gang. Finally, we will look at the importance of priorities. Priorities are simply things that we put first. We all have to prioritize things in our lives. Today, we will learn how to divide our tasks into must do, should do, and want to do so that we can better meet our deadlines. By the end of this module, you will better understand what it means to be responsible in respecting authority and setting goals. You will also learn to think through making good choices and how to avoid gains and bad choices. Finally, you will learn that when you have the right priorities, it is easier to make good choices. Welcome. Today you are going to explore being responsible. Learn about people in charge people who have authority understand how to make good decisions. Key words, responsibility, authority, decide. Responsibility, noun, something for which a person is responsible, a duty or chore. So responsibility is what we're talking about. And this module, we're going to do just a, one or two of the different activities. And we can always pick it up next time. What do you feel responsibility means? What does that mean to you? What is responsibility and being responsible? Yes, ma'am. Um, treat others how you want them to treat you. Treat people how you want them to treat you. Well, that's a very wonderful, respectful thing. And that's about respect. But being responsible, keep thinking. Responsible if like if you have a chore and it's not your parents' chore, you have to do it. If it's not your parents' chore, it's just when you are given chores by your parents or guardian or maybe a teacher, right? Your responsibility is to 
you're committing to doing that chore, and you will do that chore all the way from the beginning to the end. That's being responsible. Excellent. Yes. Being respectful to other kids is about being respectful, but being responsible is a little bit different. Let's go over here. Yes. To help other people. To help other people? Well, that's, that's part. In other words, you feel responsible that you must help other people. I like that because we should always help other people. Responsible is like what you take care of your toys and all So what you do to take care of the things that belong to you. And what about taking care of the things that belong to someone else? When you borrow something from someone, one of your classmates in school, you should give it back how? How should that item be given back? Thank you. you know, we should always be respectful and say thank you, but you need to give the item back Exactly. Okay, let's move on. Responsibility, it's a noun. Something for which a person is responsible, a duty or a chore. Here we go. Let's go down here. Responsibility, noun. Something for which a person is responsible, a duty or chore. Example, setting the dinner table is my responsibility. Feeding the dog is your responsibility. A student that is responsible in school will select all that applies. Thumbs up when he says it. Raise his hand and wait to be called on by the teacher. Thumbs Talk up. to a friend during a class lesson. No. No. Pick up trash and throw it away. Yes. Walk, not run, in the hallway. Yes. So notice that it'll give you a red X so when you see that when that's not correct, and it'll tell you to try again. But you did really well because all the others are correct. Here we go. Here's a... Authority. Wow. Now, the power to give orders, make important decisions, and tell people what to do. Authority. Now, the power to give orders, make important decisions, and tell people what to do. Example, the teacher has the authority in the classroom. The blank has all the authority in our school. Student. Thumbs up or down. Teacher. Principal. Secretary. So, the blank, which would be, what's the correct answer? Principal. Principal has the, all the authority in our school. Right? Not the teacher, not the student, and not the secretary. <coughs> Decide. Verb. To make up one's mind. To choose. Decide. Verb. To make up one's mind. To choose. Examples. The referee will decide which player made the mistake. Taylor decided to go to summer camp this year. After school, you will need to decide what you want to do before dinner. List two responsible things you might do. So let's talk about that. This is asking us, we're talking about the verb decide. Okay, it's your choice to decide what to do. So here's the example. After school, you will need to decide what you want to do before dinner. List two responsible things you might do. What would they be? What do you think? Do my chore before dinner. So do your chores. Okay, so chores before dinner. And one more. How about you, sir? Walk the dog. Walk the dog. Okay, good. I know Mrs. P walks our two dogs every morning and every night. Good job. Let's move on. Here's our first activity. In all parts, in all parts of our world, in homes, schools, stores, and hospitals, there are people in charge. Let's learn more about people in charge in our community and country. <coughs> oh, I like these. Who's in charge? Match the authority figure, person, with their location from the left column, parent, teacher, fire chief, doctor, police officer. Okay, so let's go 
What is this? Teacher. Uh, classroom. Classroom. So does it belong with the parent, teacher, fire chief, teacher. doctor, or police officer? Teacher. Okay, here we go. Let's see if you're right. You are correct. Yeah. Raise your hand if you know what this picture is. Yes, ma'am. Fire station. It's a fire station, fire truck, and where would this match up to? Fire Sorry. chief. Fire chief. Good job, guys. And this is a who can, raise, who can raise their hand, no calling out. Yes, ma'am. Hospital. Would the hospital be authority with a parent or a doctor or police officer? Doctor. A doctor. Are you right? Yes, you are. These are city streets. So we have police officer left and parent. Raise your hand if you know. Young lady in the blue in the back. What do you think? City streets, does it belong with the authority of a parent or a police officer? A parent, let's see if she's right. No. no. So then it has to be police, police officer. officer. And the last one, your home is parent. Is parent. Awesome job. Here we go. Here's another. I love these. Who's in charge? Match the authority figure, person, with their location. State government. Principal. Principal. Judge. Judge. Manager. Manager. Referee. 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 Governor. 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 So let's look at state government. Who can raise their hand? Yes, sir, and tell us. Governor. Governor. Okay, let's go down here. Are you correct? Yes. Yes. No. State government. Do you think it's a judge? Yes. No, see, try again. It should have been. It should have been. Yeah, it should have been governor. Or referee. Well, let's go down to the soccer game. Referee. Principal, judge, manager, referee. referee. Raise your hand if you know. Yes, ma'am. Referee. Okay, and we're sitting in our seats very nicely. Thank you. Grocery store. Excellent. Where do you think grocery store is? Is that a manager, principal, judge, governor? What do you think? Where do you think this goes? Manager. Excellent. How about courtroom? <gasps> courtroom goes... The judge. To the judge? Ooh, it's, no, it's governor. Not. Yes, it did take it. And school? Principal. Governor. Wait, yeah, principal. School principal. goes to principal. the principal. So we See, were correct were right. for some reason. There it goes. So you were correct. All of them are correct. Good job, I think guys. they just wanted you to go for a second. <coughs> they, they, were, they were trying to see who the authority was, right? They were really telling us. Here he goes for fun. A clerk works at a clothing store. Who would be the authority figure at the clothing store? Listen first. Clerk. Manager. Customer. Clerk. Raise your thumbs up. You think clerk, manager, or customer? Let's see. Clerk. Try again. Manager yes. is correct. Yes. Yay. I'm going to do one more quick The person activity. in charge has a lot of responsibility. Having responsibility means this person must often decide what to do. Read each scenario that follows and make the best choice in each case. See what he asked for to make the best choice. We always have to make the best choice in everything we do. Here we go. You are at a town carnival with all your friends. Who can help you stay safe? Police? Yes. yes. Referee? No. President? No. Judge. No. Do thumbs down or thumbs up. Okay, guys, so police is the correct answer. You can always ask a police officer for help because they're the ones with authority and they are very responsible. Juan is responsible for taking out the trash every day at home. Who is in charge of making sure Juan does his chores? Principal? Thumbs up or down? Fireman? No. Parent? Yes. Doctor? So it is the parent. Good job, because it's important to help out at home. How many of you help out at home? By a thumbs up. What do you do at home? What are you responsible for? Yes, sir. I'm responsible for the kitchen. For what do you do with the kitchen? I wash the dishes. You wash the dishes. How many of you wash dishes at home? Okay. What are you responsible for? I sweep the floor. Speak a little louder. I sweep the floor. How many of you sweep the floor? Gosh, can you guys come to my house and do this? <laughs> no. Yes. yes. Laundry. Who does laundry? Excellent. What about you, sweetheart? The whole house you clean? 
You dust and you vacuum and you mop the floors. Really? Who does the whole house? Now, I can't, I don't know. Okay, that's a lot of responsibility. Yes, ma'am. Say it nice and loud. Taking out the trash. How many of us take out the trash? Good. Ready to move on? Show me that you're ready. I think I Here we go. Mandy made a bad decision when she stole food from the grocery store. She got caught and will have to go see a doctor, principal, judge, yes. governor. No. Teachers have authority in class, but the blank leads the school. Judge, principal, police officer, governor. So the principal, remember, has the authority over the entire school. Why is that? Because they own the school. They own the school? <laughs> well, not really. But the school district owns the school, honey. But the principals are have the authority to do whatever they want. Well, kind of to do whatever they want, but they have to follow certain guidelines and rules. Just like, do you get to do whatever you want to do at home? Yes. You do. All the time. I don't think so, sweetheart. So we have rules. How many of us have to abide by the rules at home and in school? Are there rules in school yes. that you're responsible for? Can you yes. tell me what's one of the rules in school? No running in the hallway. No running in the hallway. Excellent. What else is another rule? Say it nice and loud. Don't run in the library. Don't run in the library media center, okay? Don't talk when your teacher's talking. Don't talk when your teacher's talking. Don't talk in the library. Don't talk in the library. So no running, no talking in the library. I mean, you don't be a roommate. Don't be what? Appropriate. Well, appropriate means that you are going to do the right things. And you're going to show and model. Inappropriate. Okay. So is that one of your rules? What's another one? No pushing. We should never, ever, ever. We have to be responsible for never touching another human being. Yes. And don't stomp up the stairs or run up the stairs because you can get what? Hands <coughs> down. Focus on the smart bird. Here we go. Let's finish her up. Here we go. Jason broke his arm playing football. Uh -oh. Who puts the cast on his arm at the hospital? Who's responsible? Doctor? Yes. Police yes. officer? Yes. Fireman? Yes. Referee? So a nurse may help also, though, in a hospital, right? Because she has the authority. Thumbs up if you agree that the nurse also assists the doctor, right? Because they help. That's right. Joe plays baseball and Sharon plays softball. Who makes sure the rules are followed at a game? Judge. Thumbs up or down. Manager. No. Umpire. Yes. Parents. Yes. No. Look what it says. Correct. Don't argue with the umpire. He's in charge, just like your principal's in charge of your school. At the games and playing softball, this umpire is in charge. Here we go. Are we all paying attention? The milk from the grocery yeah. store was spoiled. Who is responsible for giving you another milk or your money back? Cashier, store manager, president, doctor. So, good try for the cashier, but that's incorrect. Store manager, he's the only or she's the only one who's responsible because she has the authority and is responsible for everything that goes on in that store. Excellent job. A blank saves lives, puts out fires, and helps at car accidents. Thumbs up or down? Doctor. No. Police officer. No. Principal. No. How about? Fireman. Yes. yes, a fireman has many responsibilities. Good job, guys. The cities and towns in most states are run by mayors. The blank is responsible for running the state. Is it the President, no. judge, no. governor, yes. manager. No. So the governor. In most states, they're run by the mayors, but the governor's responsible for running the state, just like the authority of the principal in your school or the store manager in a store. They all have responsibilities. Every state has a leader called the governor. 
the leader of our country, the United States of America, is the blank. No. Referee. No. President. Yes. Governor. No. Judge. No. So the president, what's it say? The president is elected every how many years? Four, Four years. years. Excellent. We're going to end with Remember, a reflection. Here we go. You are in charge. <coughs> People depend on you. You must be ready to decide what to do. Do you know someone in charge? What do they do? So let's talk about that. We're ending it with this reflection. Do you know somebody who's responsible in charge of things? And who is that person? What do they do? We haven't heard from you. OK, go ahead. Say it louder. Your mom. So a parent, OK? How many by thumbs up agree? Our moms. A parent, actually, parent, is in charge and responsible. Did I spell that right? A R G. Okay. Who else do you know? You personally, that you know somebody? The president. The pro oh, president of what? Of the United States of America. Of okay, Donald so Trump. Donald Trump. Oh, the president. Any others? Any others? Yes, ma'am. Firefighters? Well, let's talk about all those people. Besides firefighters, who else? They wear these uniforms a lot. So what do you think? Firefighters are responsible, and they have to help people, right, and decide what to do. They're in charge. Who else is in charge along those lines? Say it again. So your parents. So it's, we do have parent, and you said fire, fire, fireman, right? Okay, anyone else? Yes. The government's in charge, so the governor, okay. What about, what about, oh, who knows how to spell governor? Me. G-O-V-E-N-R-E-N-O-R. There we got it. What about in your local community, right here in Lehigh Acres? Who's in charge outside there in the community? Police officers. Okay, so firefighters, police officers. You guys know a lot of people that have responsibilities. So all these people have responsibilities, okay? Have a seat because you're standing. I can't call on you. Yes. Teachers. Okay, now let's put our hands down and talk about teachers for just a moment. In your classroom, give me one responsibility that the teacher is responsible for. She has the, or he has the authority, right? Every day, students like yourselves come into the class. Every day, five days a week. What is the first thing that she needs to do? Uh, um, and, excuse me, you're not raising your hand. Pay attention. She can help you to learn. I love it. She helps you to learn. What else? She protects you. How does she protect you? Speak nice and loud. By fighting for you. But how, what do you mean fighting for you? She's going to fight for you? <laughs> what is she going to do? You mean by, by sticking up for you or trying to help you to learn like she said teaching you? Good. I love it. What else? Yes. Bye. Well, we're talking about the teacher. So pay attention. Listen, we're talking about the teacher. Yes. In the classroom, gentlemen. Be responsible right now because what are you doing that you shouldn't be doing? Who can tell me what they're both doing, what they shouldn't be doing? Well, they're not playing, they're what? Talking. While Chit -chat. The teacher Word. is talking. So we need to be respectful and responsible to remember that. Okay, give me a fist bump. Anyone do that? All right. Anybody else got the teacher? Yes. What do you think? Okay, tell us. Why do we have to have leaders? Can anybody answer that question? Why do we have to have leaders? Why do you think? So they help us to learn what to do, to whether it's a project. Do you have a science project that you do in third grade? Yes. Okay. And do you get placed into teams? Yeah. No. Sometimes. No. Or sometimes with the partner? with yeah. a classmate, yeah. so you have to help each other. And there are a lot of groups in school and after school programs that have leaders because they <coughs> help 
the other people learn. They are responsible. So how many of you are going to be good leaders this year in your class? Give me a high thumbs up and you're going to be responsible and you're going to commit to that responsibility. That's what this lesson was about. You say you're going to do something, you do it, and if you can't do it, you express to a teacher or a parent or a guardian or a friend why you couldn't do it. And you do something different and hopefully you'll get to where you need to be. All leaders are strong people, very strong, and they're going to bring together everyone who's not quite as strong, but they're going to follow that leader because that leader is responsible just like you do with your teachers, just like you do with your family members, just like you do with your principal in the school. So make sure you're responsible for yourself. Be responsible for yourself. The second you walk into any of your classroom, be responsible. What's one of the things you have to do when you walk into a classroom? What's the first thing you're supposed to do when you walk into a classroom? Nice and loud. Be quiet. And what else do you do? Is that what you're going to say? Be quiet. What else do you do? Say good morning. Say good morning. That's being respectful and also being responsible to know that manners are very important. Good, strong manners makes a good leader. Last one. Nice and loud. You have to do what you were asked to do. You said you have to do what you have to do, which kind of to me interprets that you're given responsibilities. And it's your choice whether you're going to do that responsibility or not. And then you know, like the gentleman on the video said, there are consequences for everything we do, positive and negative, right? Who wants positive consequences? Give me a high five and be responsible. Ready, go. See you guys next time. Yeah, bye.